Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I have a really fun video for you guys, a company that I'm excited to share with you all and talk a little bit about. But today I am high, we're going to be talking about how to extend our handmade wardrobes. Basically things that we can add into our handmade wardrobes to make them um, cross over more seasons, to help them last longer, and just to um, stretch them in terms of outfits, you know, um, with layering purposes and um, different ways that we can create more outfits with our closets in the whole idea of keeping a cohesive closet. Okay, today's video is sponsored and it is sponsored by Lily Silk. Now this is a somewhat new to me company, kind of, like in the past few years. Um, I was first introduced to Lily Silk when, um, let's see, I saw um, Jennifer L. Scott from Daily Connoisseur, Christy Russell from um, her YouTube channel, <laughs> Fashion Translated is her um, website, and also Erin Busby from Busby Style. Those are all um, YouTube channels that I watch and follow, keep up on the trends and all that kind of stuff. And they had each done, um, at various points, videos um, showing products from Lily Silk, and I was very intrigued by them. Um, and I'm gonna tell you all this great stuff about this company. I, it's even better once I've really started digging in. Um, shortly after finding out about all of this stuff, again, I would go on the website and kind of look through things and um, just these gorgeous silk blouses. They've got pants, they've got nightwear, they have home, um, you know, bedding and sleepwear, all sorts of things. Um, my mom actually follows a lot of the same channels that I do when it comes to the style and she ordered a few things from Lily Silk. And when we were back last year um, visiting, she was showing me, um, gosh, I think she got a camisole and a blouse, just gorgeous. Number one, the packaging is absolutely phenomenal and um, it, it just, it's a luxury product. And we were both so amazed, you know, I, was, I got to look and handle it and look at all the things that she got. And from that point on, I was kind of hooked. Um, since then, Lily Silk has reached out to me about doing a sponsored video, and I thought it was a perfect match with the channel. Even though we make a lot of our clothes, there are some things that um, most of us choose not to make or just can't because we can't find the fabrics um, easily and that sort of thing. So I thought that this would be a great fit for the channel and a great talk about some, not necessarily basics, although they are basics, but some layering pieces that are really great to have in your wardrobe, and I've got two of those to share. But first off, I wanna talk a little bit more about about the company Lily Silk. So they are very committed to um, low zero waste uh, manufacturing, which I find so incredibly um, refreshing <laughs> and wonderful. Um, they obviously Lily Silk, they have a ton of silk products. All of their silk comes from the mulberry tree, which uses a lot more, a lot less water than um, cotton, tr a cotton plant takes to um, produce. I mean, we can get into that on another day, but <laughs> it's great. And all their silkworms are born and bred in captivity and um, you know, very um, ethical and sustainable through all of that. They also, um, I think somewhat recently, have started offering cashmere products as well. Same thing that is all ethically um, and sustainably um, harvested and used, and uh, again, the zero waste production. So they work with a company called TerraCycle that helps um, with zero waste consumption, low chemicals. Their products are all um, OICO, am I saying that right? OICO Tex <laughs> certified, which is the environmental standard. That means that they um, use little uh, chemicals, and a lot of times it's, it's like recycling chemicals, um, in the production of their products, their products use less water, it's just all around environmentally friendly, friendly and that is a certification that's not put on um, much of anything. Um, yeah, so great, great for the environment, very high quality. They use all um, natural fibers, obviously, the cashmere, the silk, um, that are great benefits all around, and we're gonna talk about that a little bit more as we get into the actual products. So. I'm very happy to be working with um, Lily Silk on this video. Okay, so I wanna show you what they sent me and then we're gonna talk about um, some ways that we can extend the life of our own handmade wardrobes. So one of the ways that they um, try and keep um, low zero waste and that sort of thing is that they have two products that they use with their scraps. One of those is an eye mask, a sleep mask. This feels so good. <laughs> 
<laughs> they do sleep masks and they do scrunchies and it's just a way for them to use up their scraps um, you know from their blouses and um, pillowcases which is a big thing we'll talk about that here in a second oh my gosh guys I can't even tell you so it's got the elastic on the back with a velvet ribbon. This feels so luxurious. So the benefits of sleeping with a sleep mask, especially silk. So this is 19 mummy silk, which is um, the weight. A mummy is, um, refers to the weight of silk. And this is a silk charmeuse. 19 mummy is a fantastic weight of charmeuse. It's a little bit heavier weight of charmeuse um, before you get into like satins and the heavier stuff. So excellent quality and I am very familiar with um, weights of silk and that sort of thing. But the benefits of using a sleep mask are that um, number one, it helps with dry skin and dry eyes. So silk keeps moisture in. It doesn't suck moisture out like a cotton would. Um, so it helps keep your eyes um, closed, hydrated, if you have anything with light sensitivities, if you live in an area of the world where, you know, it gets dark late um, and you're wanting to sleep, if you do a lot of traveling, it's just really great to have it around your face. It also keeps, um, you know, the silk helps keep uh, not only the moisture in, but helps keep your, um, just your skin from like crinkling and getting those <laughs> awful like sleep marks and that sort of thing as well, which as we mature, our faces, you know, those creases stay in a little longer out throughout the day. Um, so they did send me one of these to look at and review, and I'm so excited about this. My niece actually sleeps in a sleep, sleep mask every night, and she's six, and I've been intrigued. I'm like, gosh, she sleeps really well in a sleep mask. So I, I'm very excited to try this out. So this is a sleep mask, one of the items that they do use, um, that they do make to help with their uh, zero waste of their products. Okay, the other thing that they are really big in is pillowcases. All right, folks, this is a 19 mummy, the same weight of the um, silk charmeuse as the um, mask. 19 mummy um, silk pillowcase. They make these in a, quite a few different colors as well as um, sizes. So I've gone with the standard because my family, we all sleep on memory foam pillows, um, which just, I mean, they all are standard size, even though I sleep on a king size bed. I can't, <laughs> okay, let's talk about benefits of sleeping on a silk pillowcase. And I've known this for quite a while. If you have any kind of um, curl in your hair, whether that just be a heavy wave up to like a tight coil, Silk is phenomenal for your hair for many reasons. Number one, you don't get the friction against silk that you would against a cotton pillowcase, so you don't get that frizz. And I'm talking hair, even if you wear your hair straight like myself, I still get frizzy hair because I have to straighten it with product and heat <laughs> in order to get it to lie um, completely straight. My daughter has very curly hair. She often wakes up with like rat nests, you know, just from the curls. That's just what they do. But this not only helps um, with the friction when you're sleeping, but also, like I said, it, um, it keeps the moisture in. So um, s cotton, if you think about cotton, it wicks moisture out of things. So, um, you know, if you've ever worn a cotton t-shirt on a hot day, you know that it like holds all the moisture. <laughs> Same thing with like a cotton pillowcase, and that's the beauty of the silk. It doesn't do that. It keeps all the moisture in the hair where it's supposed to be. It helps keep your face from creasing. There's so many benefits. I'm actually going to leave a link down below to the article that they have on all the benefits of silk pillowcases. And again, I've known about this for a while, but um, yeah, this has me sold. Again, quite a few different colors. I went with just the natural. Um, I think this is called just natural. The other good thing about these is that because they're slicker, it does have the envelope there in the top that goes over your pillow, you know? Um, to keep things so your pillow's not sliding out of your pillowcase. That drives me nuts. I have that issue with my memory foam pillow quite frequently with our current pillowcases, so I'm excited to try with the envelope because I hate when I have to keep stuffing my pillow back in. The other thing that's great about silk is that it is antimicrobial, so it, it does it's not a good breeding ground for um, dust mites or for um, molds and stuff like that, so it's great if you have allergies as well. It helps to protect. So not antimicrobial, I meant hypoallergenic, <laughs> is what I meant. Anyway, great. And what's even better, I mean, could I make myself a silk pillowcase? Of course, yes I could. But these are, the price point of these, I could not make myself a silk pillowcase for less than what I can buy these pillowcases for. So if you wanna talk about excellent gifts for people, eye mask, pillowcases, especially if you have anyone in your life that gets frizzy hair or has any kind of curl in their hair, what a fantastic, luxurious gift. It's one of those things you wouldn't necessarily buy for yourself, but what a great gift to give someone. 
So, yes. Also, Lily Silk is they're having Black Friday sales right now, and I actually have a 12% off coupon using my code right here. So if you want to go and shop the Good Friday sales, use my coupon, um, or if anything on the site, not just what I am talking about today, you can go down and do that. Um, so if you're doing any Christmas shopping, like these are, I'm picking up a few of these things for uh, Christmas gifts for the women in my life because, it, yeah, they're so good. <laughs> okay. So that is kind of Lily Silk in a nutshell. So let's talk about extending the life of our wardrobes. So I, um, when they reached out to me, they gave me um, just kind of carte blanche to pick a couple of items that I thought would work well in my wardrobe and, um, you know, to, to let me try things out and stuff with the site, which I was very appreciative of. So I have picked a silk item, a silk knit item, and also a cashmere item, which right here. Silk item I'm wearing. <laughs> Because number one, these are two fabrics that are very hard as a um, seamstress, as a home sewer to get a hold of. Silk jersey, occasionally you can find it not very frequently, and also cashmere. And the other big thing is that on many knitted items, um, you know, when you're sewing things, yeah, you can put in the, you know, the neck bands and all that stuff, but there's just something so beautiful about the way when things are actually knitted as opposed to knitted and then sewn into a garment. And that's what I really love about, about these pieces. <laughs> They're just not something, I cannot recreate these exactly like they are, um, especially with the fabrics here in my home. So let's talk about the silk item first. This is the um, silk vest, I believe is what it's called. It is a V-neck, um, just a shell. It comes in two colors. It comes in this, this is called a beige and it also comes in black. I will show you some up close of me actually styling these different ways um, because there's a little metallic, like a gold metallic in this. It's really pretty and it feels phenomenal on. It is a lightweight fabric, but let's talk about the benefits of silk jersey. So if you live in a climate um, where you need to layer up or um, you know, if it gets very, very cold, silk jersey is quite possibly the best fabric for base layers. I mean, talk about luxurious. It feels great against your skin, so it's not itchy. Um, it keeps you insulated, both in the winter and the summer, because it is a natural fiber. Um, it will keep you warm in the winter and also help cool things off for you in the, in the warmer months. Um, and because it's so lightweight, it layers really easily underneath things. And that's one of the reasons I wanted a nice layering piece um, to put into my wardrobe. Now, obviously I have this on today with a cardigan, which is a very easy way to wear this, but I could wear this under other sweaters that I have. Um, there were some options uh, with some jersey uh, shirt like t-shirts where if you wanted to if you have like a wool allergy or a wool sensitivity layering one of those underneath your wool sweaters would be perfection and would keep you completely protected from any of that obviously with a tank your arms would still be exposed but I liked the idea of having something that I could um, you know just take a layer off so that I could wear it both in the winter and in the summer obviously in the winter months. I could pair this under um, any of my um, summery dresses that need just a little bit, um, you know, that are nice autumnal colors, but need just a little bit of extra warmth. So this underneath a rayon dress with tights, and then you throw on a little cardigan, you're set and ready to go. It will keep you warm. It will um, take all of those summery type dresses well into the colder months. I live in Indiana, it gets cold here, um, but this is a great layering piece. I think that I, I mean, you could obviously wear this on its own as well. Great for the summer um, because of the sheen. It's just so luxurious. You could wear this very fancy. I mean, coming into um, New Year's Eve and that sort of thing, this paired with a uh, neat skirt. If you watched my uh, holiday looks to recreate that Upton skirt to pair, um, this with would be just glorious and <laughs> very sumptuous and yeah, luxurious, just very, very nice. So yes, I definitely recommend in any of these, if you know, if you don't want to do a shell, but I really do recommend a good silk jersey. It, it makes great long underwear, actually. <laughs> My father-in-law, who has um, horrible circulation, wears silk long underwear underneath his, um, would wear them underneath his suits when he would go to work. And it kept him warm, everything nice and lightweight, so he could wear a suit and still be very comfortable. Um, nothing caught, you know, everything was very, it's slick, so everything slides over it well. It makes wearing jackets and, and sweaters and all sorts of things really easy over this silk jersey. Okay. 
So, the second item, clothing item, that I um, requested was I wanted to try out some of their cashmere. You guys know how I feel about cashmere. I love cashmere. <laughs> And sometimes I can thrift it, but sometimes I actually have to just bite the bullet and um, buy some cashmere. Also, not all cashmere is created equal. You can get some cashmere for seemingly great prices that's really thin. It gets holes in it easily and not just moth holes. I'm talking like rubbing up against, you know, whatever those mysterious holes are that people get in the fronts of their shirts. Um, but it can... It, it can um, easily, and it's not all created equal. It all depends on the length and the staple of the um, fiber that gets, wo that gets wound together and then eventually knitted into the garment. So less expensive cashmeres are often using shorter staple um, fibers. And so that's when you get your holes and stuff and it, it just seems a little thinner. It pills a little easier, um, but it's usually less expensive. Now your nicer, um, cashmeres are going to use a longer staple um, fiber and so it's just knitted together a little bit better it's just going to hold a little bit better and guys this sweater it feels i mean cashmere is lightweight but this is not feel thin this feels so substantial and so gorgeous so this is a um their turtleneck sweater obviously and gosh this comes in like five different colors this is actually called brown camel and um it is literally the only gray that i can wear <laughs> because it is a warm gray that goes just a little bit brown. And even though it's called brown camel, it's definitely a gray. So I was very excited about this. So if you're a warm color palette, I'm a coppery spring. If you're a warm color palette, this gray is a great one. It's like literally the only gray we can wear. But um, this warm gray is absolutely perfect. Obviously it's a turtleneck, great for layering. And I love this for taking a few of my um, summer dresses, in particular, my Tempo um, sundress from Love Notions, which is obviously a summer dress, but because it's made in more autumnal coloring or colors, I can throw it on over this turtleneck and I can wear this into the winter, put on some warm tights underneath it, and I'm good to go. And I'm very excited about that because I really love that dress. But I love a good, I mean, you know I love a good turtleneck. Um, love cashmere. Again, it's very hard to find knit cashmere as yardage. And even then you're having to cut into it, obviously, to make your garments. Not completely unheard of, but a knitted garment, it just, I don't know, it just, it fits, fits better, it wears better, and obviously a machine can knit much smaller gauge than what we can actually physically knit ourselves, <laughs> and much faster. But anyway, <laughs> um, I am in love with this sweater. I cannot wait to wear this all winter long. The other plus of cashmere is that it is, again, lightweight, so it's very easy to layer, and it's so soft. Cashmere actually comes from a goat, not a sheep. So um, some the allergies can be different. So if you do have a wool allergy, I would try. I mean, you may still have an allergy to cashmere, but don't completely, you know, take it out because there's a good chance that you might be able to wear it just because it's from a different animal. But um, yeah, this is good stuff, folks. It feels heavenly against my skin. Cashmere is also great for... Um, even as the weather starts to warm up. So in the spring, obviously the fall, uh, because it's an, a natural fiber. And the same with wool, um, lightweight wools like merinos and that sort of thing. They are just fantastic for natural. They pull the moisture away, keep you nice and dry, which even in cold weather, you would think that, you know, well, I don't. You know, if I'm sweating, that means I'm warm. But no, sweating can mean moisture stays on your body and can make you colder. So if you have fabri fabrics that can wick, and especially natural fibers that can wick, that keeps you just even toastier and warmer than um, normal. So highly recommend a good cashmere. I mean, it's just, you feel so luxurious wearing it. How can you <laughs> go wrong? But it is a great way to extend summer, anything that you can layer on um, over top. Um, it's just a, a great layering piece. A great basic. This one really truly is just a great basic to have in your wardrobe. Um, a lot of those lists of, you know, the top 10, you know, basics you should have in your wardrobe. Usually a cashmere sweater is on there. I love a good turtleneck moment, although they do have other options on the site as well. And now that I've actually felt both the silk and the cashmere, they're very, they're great quality. And I have felt lesser quality silks and cashmeres. In fact, I even own some lesser quality cashmeres. Um, and this is the good stuff. So this is the stuff that uh, stays forever and ever that you want to keep in your cedar chest or, um, you know, around your cedar chips to keep it all protected from the little critters that will want to get at the very, very good cashmere. So <laughs> that's also a good tip, but um, beautiful products. 
So there we have it, guys. That's just me talking through a few of the things that I found at Lily Silk, especially as we get into the holiday season if you're doing any holiday shopping. Um, just a way to extend our own handmade wardrobes. And yeah, I, I just am really impressed. I don't take on sponsors lightly. I really like to stay with um, companies that I enjoy that I believe in the product and things that I would be buying even if I were not being sponsored. So um, I, I try and really stay true to that. Um, I think it just makes a more authentic channel, obviously. But um, I am definitely, I will be buying stuff from, with my own money, <laughs> for Christmas gifts this year, especially these eye masks and pillowcases. I mean, I have curly headed people in my family. So <laughs> these are great little, um, little gift sets and they've got some gift sets that are on there that include a few things um, together that I would be a lot of fun I think to, to gift to some of the females and males um, you know whatever in your family so uh, yeah go have a look and don't forget I do have the 12% uh, off um, code that you can enter to get an additional 12% off the items that you might be interested in. Okay, guys, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this one. I will be back again later for another video. Have a good one, you all. Get a lot of sewing in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.